All right, so we got my old monster case here. This thing is absolutely massive. Like, holy crap, this thing's huge. Uh, we're going to take this thing. I've got an old power supply. We're going to throw a power supply in it and dump all the parts out of my server into it. I guess I'm not going to mind. I'm going to take that monitor and it's going to be setting on top of the new server if at all possible. It might be too tall. I'm just not going to worry about it clogging the vents or blocking the vents because this particular system is not going to need all the vintage that you get in this case. Like this thing is really overkill but it's going to turn into the server i'm running out of storage in that and i'm out of space inside of it so it's time to upgrade mediacom just came by gave us a new modem still not getting advertised speeds uh so they put in a order, work order for the people to come look at the lines and uh, escalate that crap. Yeah, so today's monkey day too, so she's on the way. I've got three Chromebooks that I'm about to sell. Uh, nobody has said anything when I mentioned them before on Facebook, so I guess I might mention them one more time in a post, and then they're going on the marketplace. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I need to go get my tools. So we'll just we'll just back out of here awkwardly and look at the room. Yeah, let's go be productive. Oh, we gotta start. Power supply is in. I'm about to shut down and pull over that thing. I could technically cram more crap in this old case, but it's <laughs> kind of tight and I'm, I'm over it. That little card right there, that P400 Quadro, has transcoded so many movies at this point. Okay, so let's uh, put this into that. Yeah. I just pulled this fan out of here and then I thought, you know, I guess I could explain a little bit of stuff. I uh, have a one gig network card that I've been using in this because it's a really old board that had slow networking. I'm going to upgrade to 2.5 gig and I'm already running 2.5 gig in my computer and our new network router up here is 2.5 gig uh, actually I can get close enough to read, read it Aww. it's 2.5 gig LAN and I'm about to swap that switch out right there for 2.5 gig just so that locally I can access my files faster like the uh, the TVs can do up to 200 megabit for uh, 4K HDR and whatnot. So we want to have the good connection locally. That way we can, you know, see movies without lag and whatnot here at the house. So I'm going to swap that out. And I have another server I'm running down here for some other projects and stuff. And... It's network card's kind of sucky. It's doing like 60 to 80 megabit. So I'm going to take this one out. That way it'll do 100. And then this will let me do 250. Going in between uh, the server and my other machines. So yeah. That's part of what I'm doing. I keep having to pause my YouTube video for these clips. Because I don't feel like dealing with the background. Um, I need to make a mental note here. My main drive, the boot drive, is black wire there. The slow storage is the darker blue down there in that white connector. 
that light blue in the orange connector is going to my SSD fast bulk storage. So I was going to take a picture, but I'll just add this so I can remember. Got the brain and everything out. Oh, we'll stick it down in here. It's going to be something like that. Pretty close to that. Yep, that's pretty much it on the standoffs. <laughs> it's going to look so tiny in this big ass case. <laughs> that's okay though. So, I've been just running a three terabyte drive here. You can see the capacity right there. Uh, one terabyte solid state and a 256 boot drive. Um, I'm gonna pull. I've got some extra solid states. This server's got a four terabyte extra in it and it's got a different boot drive. I'm gonna take its four terabyte and go in here because I don't need I don't need bulk storage in that that thing in the closet. It's just been for testing different random server crap. Uh, so yeah, I need to get all that storage in here, get everything rewired, and swap a network card. I need to not forget that card needs to go in the other server while I pull its storage and add it to this because I've got tons of storage here. I'm only going to use two bays so they can stay nice and cool. But up here, I can just start loading up drives as well. So I have a lot more space. Room for activities. All right, let's keep going. These screws are a different thread than the standoffs in this case. So I'm looking around everywhere like, God, where am I going to get screws? And this mess keeps getting bigger. And then I remembered I got some right here. <laughs> Literally perfect size. Oh, the right pitch for the thread. Let me grab my screwdriver. Yep. I got some right up there. <laughs> She's looking good. Got our 2.5 gig networking, our Quadro P400. Everything's wired up. I had to loosen my screws and run this cable through here. Normally you would go through the top here, but it's not long enough because of the placement of this four pin. Normally it's up here somewhere. So improvise, ran the cord through the back there. I'm gonna leave my PCI Express cables on here and just have them tucked away because at some point we'll put a better GPU that might need some juice. What's most likely going to happen is I'm going to end up getting a new GPU. Monkey will probably end up getting that 4090 just out of sake of me having access to it here in the room for stuff when she's not gaming. And her 3070 will probably go in here. Eventually I'll upgrade this motherboard, but... To this day, out of all the spare systems that I've got, nothing gives me better performance and options than this uh, old Phenom 2 X6 1090T from like 2008, something like that. It's just a good little CPU, kicks ass. I keep putting it in different motherboards, but that's about it. It's just a little trooper. <laughs> All right, let me get these drives. I gotta go pull the drive out of that other server in there. And I'm pretty close. Yay. I might actually take a break. Like, I am hurting. I got server number two out of the closet, pulled its extra drive out. It went here. So I've got another four terabytes that's gonna go in here. So that'll be uh, nine and some change terabytes so far, and easier to add and remove stuff now, so that's cool. Uh, got that thing out of here. There's so much crap I just pulled out of this closet, it was like, why? 
Okay, yeah, that's that's where I'm at. I've got uh, most of this stuff wired up. Got my drives ready. I've got to uh, hook up the fans and stuff in the back. Uh, I've already wired the front panel. This is about ready to go. I even forgot to mention I pulled the feet off of here. It still gets air through this side and this side. And those feet have been broken forever, so... Yep, that's where I'm at. I think I might need a break. I kneeled down for a long period of time to pull the stuff out of this thing right here. And by the time I got the drive out and swapped, it was really hard to stand back up. Not even gonna lie. Okay, we're, we're getting there. This is happening. And my baby girl is on the way, so I need to fire her computer up and tell it to do updates. So I guess I'll do that. I'll turn her computer on, walk outside to take a break, and I can control her computer remotely and tell it to update her games and crap. Yeah. I'm busy because I wanted to be. <laughs> server is done. Well, main server is done. It just barely fit with the monitor on a tilt right there. We like. added the extra storage and everything that's cool yeah happy about that so just swapped the drive back into this guy just put a new network card in it gigabit because this thing was a little bit slow uh, almost done kind of in the process of cleaning up sweet this is what I got so far. Got all my drives back up and mapped. Got one of my servers up there. If we look in here, I got a single monitor right there. Got the one for the cameras fit on top of the server, of uh, this main server. And Number two's right there. This monitor, if I hit this button to swap input, this is analog input, that's server number two. Click it again, that's server number one. I don't need to use this monitor, but every now and then when I'm troubleshooting or something's going on with the systems, I can use it. It's definitely something I need. So that was just there. Sweet. Got the battery back up and everything hooked up. All the stuff that it needs to go to. Yeah, we upgraded the server. Monkey should be here in any time. But that is what's up. We've got extra storage for doing stuff. Oop. That is server number one. Yeah. Cool beans. I quit. I'm done. I do have to say one more thing though. It is pretty sweet to see Old Faithful being the server now behind the new build. Yeah. Okay, now it's done. Oh, this thing's really heavy, and it was kind of pushing down on here, so we cut some braces, went ahead and pre-drilled, and then screwed them in, so that shouldn't be going anywhere. Got server one, server two, that can stay just like that. Nice. 